and welcome to your Team Brick. And today's video, well, last week we left off with two Kerbals stranded in the orbit of the Mon. And now, this week, I have decided to finally go and rescue them. So here is your welcome launch pad. Yeah, beautiful engine effects on those F5, F1 engines there. But this is the uh, Gemini LORV, a Lunar Orbit Rescue Vehicle, I believe. So this actually was a real proposal to rescue a stranded Apollo crew in case of something similar to Apollo 13 happening whilst in orbit of the moon. And I've decided to repurpose uh, this uh, concept to rescue uh, two Kerbals instead of the uh, well, instead of uh, three in real life. And so yeah. Oh, I got some stuff about this. Yeah, it's a extended uh, Germany uh, spacecraft, so yeah, it actually couldn't fit uh, three. And again, for recovery in case of emergency whilst in orbit around the moon. And whilst this proposal, and that, well, okay, there are actually multiple proposals for Apollo rescue vehicles. The one that got farthest was for a Germany based uh, landing vehicle to recover a uh, stranded crew upon landing. So maybe I could recreate that at some point in the future. But yeah, obviously this was uh, never developed, as the funding did not exist for a vehicle, set, just an additional vehicle to rescue Apollo. And I guess in real life it never needed to be used, so yeah. But in this video, I am going to be using this to again rescue those uh, two Kerbals that caught stranded last time, which I think I finally understand uh, how you're supposed to do a mission. You're supposed to use a, a larger a Titan to uh, send up a, a trans stage uh, with the Gemini capsule. Which I means you'd actually be able to you'd you'd be able to have the Delta V to get back to Kerbin. At least I think that's what you're supposed to do. So anyways, so anyways, we're now mostly through the second stage burn. And since this uh, spacecraft is uh, lighter than the Apollo spacecraft, we get into orbit with plenty of fuel to spare. And so we get to more about to you, our Kerbin escape burn. Our Kerbin is currently getting eclipsed by its uh, parent gas giant Suna, courtesy of the uh, New Horizons planet pack. So we can adjust in the second stage, uh, light of the S4B, and uh, yeah, have uh, yeah something uh, just have an interesting uh, staging event there. I'm not quite sure what the lighting looks like this. But again, it's because probably well, it's because there's an eclipse. I guess the Furge probably doing something weird, if I had to guess. Now, I tried to reactivate EVA repairs after it got disabled last time because it broke some stuff, and it broke some stuff again. I'll do a quick save and quick lid, which will fix this, however. But uh, yeah, I had to do some small well, cheats there. And note, I was using some RCS to correct that uh, burn, which uh, that will lead to problems later on, which you'll have to uh, see. But right now, we continue to adjust our course uh, for the Mon. We have a mid-course correction to do about a day out from Kerbin. And that will get us on a, a nice uh, just a nice trajectory, which will, bring, which will put us in the plane of the orbit of the craft we're rescuing. But actually, there will also be issues with that, which again, you'll see later. See, our craft continues uh, currently unmanned. Uh, the uh, Gemini capsule in the Blue Log Design Bureau, which is the mod I'm using, has an option to be uh, uncrewed, uncrewed controlled, which is what I'm using. So we conduct that mid course correction. And when that's done, we again use an RCS. And we can then detach uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Germany uh, this lunar orbit, this LORV. We can detach that from the S4B. Nice shot there. 
and can see it within that uh, clinical service module. We have uh, four new module ascent engines. With the fuel tanks, I believe, that are smaller in uh, my module than in the real life proposal. So, but it's well, see, I had to put a bunch of spherical fuel tanks around. It ended up working out. Also, you can see those uh, new uh, tanks, those are actually the fuel cells, which are a lot more prevalent. Yeah, this uh, spacecraft, as you can see, has no solar panels. So, uh, yeah, we're using the more prevalent as our power source, which, as you can see, uh, we're using quite a lot of since the craft. I don't know why, but it likes to spin when burning. And what happened there was, as I was inserting to orbit, I still had a target selected, which a target selection in KSP can sometimes cause game crashes. See, I had to uh, reload and uh, untarget the craft briefly, which then caused this, which was even worse for our plant reserves. Uh, yeah, I forgot to just in the S4B beforehand and then didn't damage my engines properly, which uh, led to this. So yeah, you are using tons of mob plants here, which we don't have. We don't have enough to spare because again, we're using it as our power as our power generation. Which yeah, you'll see how that uh, turns out in the future. But we complete our orbital insertion. Get a, a nice uh, intersect uh, with the uh, target craft, which will then do another maneuver to adjust. Again, using just RCS for this. Yeah, intersect 2, just a 60. F well, actually, no, I misread that. Intersect 1, under, like, under 1 kilometer now, 800 meters. So we then approach uh, the uh, intersect, and I created a maneuver so I could get a precise burn time. And then we can go off a lot of lost here. And once that's done, we can start to approach uh, the uh, stranded vessel. Again, using more mob plant, but you can see just how low that's uh, getting in the uh, resources tab there. So we approach the target there. And uh, with the real life proposal we'll end up uh, with this, uh, the crew have to do an EVA over to uh, the uh, to rescue vehicle. It actually uh, lacks a docking port. So we switch over to a stranded vessel, and we can do an EVA. And I finally figured out how to fix the problem I've had for a while now. With Kerbalism, you can't get an, you can't get a mock plant back on an EVA pack once you've boarded and then reboarded a vessel. What you have to do is uh, take the EVA pack off and then put it back on again. As you can see, even though the uh, mall bar is still grayed out, it actually showed a 5 out of 5. So if you're playing with Kerbalism and have this issue, you can just, uh, as you've seen, do that. And then you have a mall plant on your Kerbal. So we then reboard the spacecraft. And now we can plot our maneuvers back to Kerbin. We're not an ideal um, on to Kerbin transfer window, so I'll still have to. Well, then we're going to do uh, multiple maneuvers, which uh, will lead to interesting events later on, which you'll see. But yeah, we're able to get a nice uh, close encounter with our uh, maneuvers. And then we can conduct our Mun Escape Burn. And note, uh, despite the Gemini capsule having crew on board, it still can only be probe controlled. That will come important later.
So now we start to head back towards Kerbin. However, this is where a major issue will arise. Since we have that fuel cell burning more prevalent, and that means that we have, well, we have very low mob prevalent, I uh, try to conserve mob prevalent by shining down the fuel cell. We run out of electric charge, which means we can't control the vessel anymore. After you have a quick save, yeah, either we have more plant and no electric charge, which means we can't uh, control the craft, which means we can't use more plant, or we run out of more plant, which will then uh, mean we have electricity slightly longer, but we then run out of that, and yeah, this is a lose-lose situation. Now, through just from very careful rationing, I'm able to, uh, careful rationing, I'm able to make it to our mid-course correction with some more plant left over, it means I can actually have to start up the engines by alleging them. It means we can actually get on a curbing condition trajectory. And after this, we are out of mob prevent, which means we'll soon be out of electric charge. So yeah, you'll see the sketchy maneuvers I have to do to get back to curbing after that. But yeah, we also pick up a major spin during this. As you can see, zero mob prevent left, but we are on a curbing collision course. And I believe this capsule, it can survive more than I initially thought. Because, okay, after multiple uh, quick, saves and quick saves and quick loads, I come up with this plan. I, ar I arm the parachutes and then decouple the capsule. We're now going to cruise through space completely uncontrolled and uh, try to uh, just, uh, try and survive a carbon entry pointing the wrong way. Because again, I know that the Gemini Capsule, it's uh, aerodynamically stable, it will want to orientate heat shield first. So yeah, I'm currently just uh, praying uh, that uh, somehow the parachutes will survive. But yeah, we're pointing nose first, and plasma is already beginning to build up. And very quickly, the nose, uh, the nose gets destroyed, and so does the main parachute. However, the uh, crew capsule will just barely survive uh, before it uh, will just barely survive. It uh, tips over, uh, pulling very high g-forces, but it survives. So, despite being unconscious, the crew have made it through re-entry, and they still have their personal parachutes with them, so they're gonna need to bail from their spacecraft. Now we're thankfully over water, which means I don't have to worry about messing up the uh, Kerbal parachutes as I always do, or somehow it always ends up with at least one of the Kerbals dying. Now we get a bit lower. Then we can uh, get our crew on EVA, deploy the parachutes. And just right before impact, the other crew member can uh, bail out. And the two of them can uh, slowly make their way down to the ocean surface. Again, I'm terrible with the incredible parachutes, so I'm trying very hard to and not crash into the water too hard. So, our first, well, the first incredible is almost made down to water now. And there we go. The second uh, follows uh, soon after. And after quite possibly the most uh, sketchy entry I've ever done, the two crew have survived. So this was uh, certainly a mission. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, and uh, here's something else. Uh, the uh, the Anther Kerbal, for some reason, ragdolled, even though they should, like, be not ragdolled. 
Leaving this, switch over to the man and I'll uh, just input a control, and you'll respond to the control and still be reacknowledged. Not sure what happened. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.